Hey, we were just there a couple uh, episodes ago. Becoming a deviant? Jeez. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. So are we gonna ask for something then? <laughs> Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access 47th floor. Okay. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Uh, quick look. Analyze. Smartwatch. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Elizabeth Wilson. Water surface interruption. Ah. Call. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh. School. Oh, his mouth is moving. Serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. Oh no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Where is she going? What now? Uh, okay. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Ah. Now I can go through.
I'm going to call one myself. Push. Find package in men's bathroom. Okay. Hmm. I can see bathroom sign. Found it. Looks cool. Enter. Is the package here? Exit. Ah, so, so we now have a disguise. And what is that going to help us? Now he's back to his android form because he is an android. But he tore off his LED. That's not a utility android, but I want to look at it. I saw him going this way. Oh, he's right there. I need your help. Damn, Marcus. Did I go past it? Oh, that's the server room. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Follow North, she's here too. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey, you still play poker? Maybe there's something there. <laughs> we did it. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Take the bag. Oh, 
Okay, so the door is locked. Now what? Oh, they're rappelling. Or not? They're going to. Maybe? The cable cards for the, the guys that are washing windows? Nobody seeing us. No, I can stop. To the left, right. Left, right. taking his time you okay why wouldn't I be come on let's get the others call service lift Let's do this. This is the maintenance door, of course. Oh shit, that's a uh, sort of fuse. Fermite. That's what I meant. And the creepy song is coming in. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? We're gonna ruse. Wait here. Something else. Buddy, you must be lost. What are you doing? <laughs> Jericho liked that.
broadcast. Okay, so that's here already. Oh jeez, he's getting away. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't shoot. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Here we go. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Ah. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But Something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Oh shit. It's going down. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! He asked for it. Yeah. Jim. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, actually. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are 
outlaw androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Okay then. Wow. Jesus. Simon is not there anymore. Jesus, this tree is going a long way. Here we go. Connor again. <laughs> Hank shot him last time. Don't do it again. Where is she this time? Ah, I went the right way. Amanda. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Okay. I love this place. Me too. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me. What have you discovered? About Hank. I'm having difficulties with Lieutenant Anderson. He's unstable, even hostile. He shot me in the head last night. Nah. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? Yeah, Brian, I mean, Connor. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I understand. No. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Yes, Connor. Why did you shoot me last night? Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. Thank you, Lieutenant. <laughs> Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. <laughs> so what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Listen to briefing. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. 
They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. That's so true? One of the Deviants. SWAT took it out. It's a pity they couldn't manage to capture it alive. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Ah, uh, Marcus. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Huh. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Okay, we'll just go with Luke. Simon. Any more bullet holes? <laughs> Jesus. There's something knocked over. Or a head. Or a head. There's a clue here. Again, bullets. Jesus. Something here too. Check CCTV. North and the other guy. And Marcus and Simon. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. station androids in the kitchen there's no evidence that they were involved but we didn't know what else to do with them huh I'm going to the kitchen with Hank Connor or not you remember me I was on that terrace that Android that took the little girl hostage I was shot 
You saved me. Sorry. You must be mistaken. I would have died on the terrace. Even if it wasn't you. I just wanted to say... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Three of them dudes. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. <laughs> what the fuck? Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Huh. I am thinking about this guy, but also this guy. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for a night. <laughs> Look at that guy. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! And the last one I'm gonna use on him. The hardest one of them all. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. I know everything. Then it's this guy. It has to be. <laughs> I know it's you. You're just a fucking deviant. Why does he Go know that word? Admit it! Uh... I'm trying to search for clothes, but it's so hard. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back, but you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant?
Then it's the left guy. Okay. I think we've seen everything there is to see. You want to go? Yes. Okay, we're out of here. Jesus, there were so many endings. I'm just shit. <laughs> Gara and Lufer and Alice. Find help. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, Already pretty really likable guy. Her. I'm Rose. Jesus. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Think we can trust them? Huh. You don't have a choice. I pressed A, so trust. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Where are the Come other in. two gone? Oh. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Oh, also uh, Detroit today. So many bedrooms, jeez. Again, it's getting weirder. Of course. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because. 
because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need a rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? What, what the fuck? We didn't do anything wrong. Wait a minute. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why did she say, why do humans hate us? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. Again spaghetti. Because they only made spaghetti for the game. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. And we have to stay with the theme. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. <laughs> Where did he teach that? I'll stay with her a while. Where's Rose? Oh, it's Christmas. Almost. It's November. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. <laughs> so are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. Of course. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Hmm. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. I insist. Hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Who the hell is that? Stand. Check what's going on. What is going on? What's going on? Oh, wow. Mary. She just shut down. Oh, wow. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. Look at it. What will I do without her? RA9 on the wall. Let's let them be. Alice? 
Why is she here? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. I actually I accidentally pressed on it, but now I'm curious. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. No. See Rose. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! <laughs> Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I can see. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. <laughs> Wait for Rose. Ru look around. Okay. Oh shit, she, she got blue blood. It looks like Denzel Washington. What the fuck? AP 700. Widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. No okay. Oh, the designers did that on purpose. Fuckers. Confess. I know you think we're just machines. <laughs> he doesn't it's want any palace. of it. I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but I know she changed me somehow. She's a tiny little hacker. <gasps> the police. It's the police. The police. What are we going to do? They know we're here. I'm gonna open the door. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? 
Of course. What if he is a fake police officer? Be the young man. Because it's Good too evening. much. Too obvious. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Jeez. Anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Ah, the coffee is done. You want some coffee? <laughs> Do you have any androids here? No. No, there are no androids here. <laughs> okay. Oh yes, the door. Thanks. But I couldn't close it when it was standing there, so yeah. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. <laughs> oh, I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Thanks for the coffee. Why? Is somebody else in the house? Ah, uh, washing machine. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. This motherfucker. He was scouting. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Jeez. So we did a lot. The policeman left. Nice.